Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to use Q vertical scroll bar control in our application. So let's start. Add scroll bar control, vertical scroll bar control. Okay. You can also create the one signal in slot function. Let's create a value change event and let's display the current scroll value. Okay. Also, you can set the minimum or main maximum value of scroll bar. So, here I have set 100 and single step is 1 and page step is 10. Also, you can set the value by use of functions like UI set minimum value is 0 and set maximum is change the value like set 500. Okay, let's take one label control to display the value. Current value is 0. Change the font size. Just simple set the text on slider value change event. Set text to string. Pass the our value. So let's start. Okay, let's include the header file. Just simply include Qt core module header files and let's run again. So, current value is 500, which is set at maximum. Okay, here is the mistake set maximum. Okay, now let's run again. So you can see the current scroll bar value in our label control. Also, you can see event was called when I change the value of scroll bar. Also, let me display the page step value and single step value. Change the single step value is fine and page step is 15, 25 or 15 whatever you can set. Also, you can set the default value. Default value is change the 30. Okay. Now, let's run the application again. So whenever I click on the page, you can see the value is incremented by 15. Okay, which is set in our here page step value is 15 and single step value is 5. You can see whenever I click on navigation button up and down, so you can see increment value is incremented by 5 and click on page that time value is incremented by 15 so by this way you can use or manage the scroll bar control let's add one more scroll bar control and log the value directly connect the signal over So you can see when I change the value of slider 1, 
slider to value is automatically moved. Let's change the slider to value according to 1. Let's simply copy the name. Now run again. So you can see. You can also connect the slider to with the slider one. Value change and set value. Okay, now let's run the application. So you can see the value. Also, let's create the event of slider two. And just simply display the label. Two. When slider two scroll scroll bar to value was changed, the scroll bar value which is displayed in label two control. So you can easily manage or display this scroll bar value by this way. So I hope this is this video video is helpful for you and you will understand i hope you will understand how use q vertical scroll bar control in our application so please drop your comment if you have any question and thanks for watching my video please like the video subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you